Wait for your first look with, first look with Jeremy. First, I can't wait for my first work with Jeremy. <laughs> Oh, Jeff. Hey, you know who scored that touch, touchdown? The touch there. You know who scored it? Kevin. Kevin's got two Kevin. for the day. Kevin. Do you know who scored that touch there? Wow. Oh, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Oh. oh what was that? Grow your hair out. That would be so beautiful. Grow your hair out. Okay. Please don't make assumptions about it. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortunes and rich in blessings. And may you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. I promise to you. I promise to love and support you always. I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to give you an abundance of joy. Hold on. I think break. I promise to always pick you up when you're down and to try and make you see how beautiful you are. I promise to always make an effort to surprise you, even though you read me like a book. And I promise most of all to be the best husband, friend, and partner to you that I can possibly be. five things, five of the many things that I promise you. I promise to love you as you are and never take you for granted. I promise to always encourage and support you. I promise to always talk things out whenever we have a conflict. I promise to find time for us no matter how hectic life gets. And I promise to be your partner in this life and always. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous, it is not inflated. Love is not rude, it does not seek its own interest. It is not quick temper, it does not root over injuries, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things.
about two years ago, when Jerry, me, and Gabby started dating. They went on a date on Friday night, and typical Friday night, Becky and I went to the Griffith Market to watch a band play, and, and toward the end of the night, Jeremy and Gabby popped in. Always a pleasure. And they were beaming and smiling, holding hands. And shortly after they arrived, the band started to play the song Obla Di, Obla Da by the Beatles. So Jeremy, the spontaneous romantic man that he is, took Gabby by the hand. He led her to the dance floor, Gabby blushing and smiling and laughing. They were the first ones on the dance floor. They were the only ones on the dance floor. Nobody else went out there. And that was perfect because they were in their own world. And they danced and they twisted and they twirled. And I even saw a famous Jeremy dip. And about halfway into the song, it hit me. I knew it. I knew it. I looked at Becky. She knew it. We agreed. We glanced over at Bill and Don, and they knew it too. The four of us knew immediately, right then and there, that Jeremy and Gabby can't dance. <laughs> They are really, really good dancers. They're phenomenal dancers, in fact. I mean, it wouldn't have been funny if they were good from the beginning, right? No, they are great dancers, and that's what's important. Because that's what marriage is. I've learned that marriage is the dance of a lifetime. Now, whether you know the steps or you make them up as you go along, it doesn't matter. You're going to see some twists. You're going to have some dips. And yes, some of these toes are going to get stepped on from time to time. That's dancing. But just keep dancing and keep learning each other's moves. But whatever you do, don't ever, ever let the music stop between you two. May God bless you both. May God bless your marriage. Congratulations. <laughs>